Hello everyone, this is Zayda Olami from Agrimat Soft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make regression model using dummy variables in Excel. So that's super easy and I have two previous videos on the dummy variables topic so you could check them out before uh, jumping into this video. But in today's video I'm going to uh, do a multiple actually dummy variables not just two of them because with with only two dummy variables it's a lot uh, more simple but with uh, more than two it gets a little complicated so in the previous video I told you that I want to have three uh, nominal categories for job title. So I have teacher, engineer, babysitter, and that's my job. Independent variable, I want to see the effect of job on BMI and also exercise hours, age, and gender. So what I did was that I had three categories, three minus one, gives you two dummy variables. I told you also that there's no difference which two do you pick. If you do not understand what I'm saying, please go check out my previous video. Uh, so we got into this place where I have BMI job titles as teacher, engineer, babysitter, exercise hours, and age, and gender. What I did for gender was that I picked female as the dummy variable, and whenever the female was true, I gave 1, and whenever male was true, it, I gave it 0, and I did that using if function. Then I got into job variable, and I picked teacher and engineer whenever teacher was true i gave one and engineer was zero and whenever engineer was true i go one and teacher was zero and age had numbers and exercise hours was was also uh with numbers so it was uh, okay now let's get into making regression model in Excel using dummy variables. So I get into data tab and I go to data analysis. If you do not see that, go to file options and in add-ins, go for Excel add-ins, go and a check analysis tool pack. Okay, and when you click OK, it should appear in here. Now click on that and in the list pick regression, click on that, click OK and then in here your Y range is is the BMI, okay? Then you have X range. So I want to have exercise hours, age and um, job and also gender as my independent variables for my regression model. And then you should check the labels. Uh, if you do not check and if you pick the names, then you will get an error. And then my output range is here. So I click OK. The regression table output appears for me. So you can see the regression statistics uh, show me that y variable is explainable using x variables uh, or I mean that uh, dependent variable which is BMI is explainable using exercise hours, age uh, and um, job and gender. So because my adjusted R square is not so much low but it's it's okay by the way i should tell you that these are all fake data so i do not um refer to these statistics very much okay so it's not important if it was uh, i don't know 15 percent even it was not important i'm just doing this regression as an example for dummy variable so that's all then let's get into this table right here and let's write the regression formula. So you have 
So you can see you have the intercept and then you have uh, coefficients for exercise hour age being teacher or engineer or being female. So what it means, okay, let's let's write the um the relationship. Y equals 22.87 minus 2.3 um, I'll give it x1, okay, then plus 0 0.17 x2, which is age, then plus 86 x3 minus 135 x4 minus 0 0.08 x5 so that's the regression relationship for this data okay but but there's a tip in here you saw that for gender i just picked female what it means it means that bmi equals to intercept minus exercise hours uh multiplied by 2.3 plus 17 uh, percent multiplies by x2 which is age plus ta 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 minus if it's female 0 0.08 multiplied by 1 which gives you 0 0.08 and if it's male it's omitted okay so that's how it works another example if you have teacher in here you will get intercept minus 2.3 multiplied by exercise hours plus 17 percent multiplied by age number plus 0 0.86 because you have a teacher okay minus 1.35 multiplied by zero so it will be zero in here if you have the teacher or or the reverse if you have an engineer then the teacher term would be zero and you just have the engineer and if you have an engineer and male for example then both of them are zero okay i i hope you understand what i said and then let's make an example if you have a babysitter if you have a babysitter and if you have a female babysitter then the bmi equals to intercept minus the coefficient with exercise hours plus coefficient with age plus zero okay zero also if you have female minus this one or if you have a male babysitter then both of them are zero and also this one would be zero also then you have this term okay so that's how uh the regression model for dummy variables work when you make dummy variables for n minus one categories so if you have teacher engineer and babysitter when you just pick teacher and engineer and you omit babysitter it means that you are comparing these two with the babysitter and if you have a babysitter then it means that these two should be omitted 
you do not have them. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next videos and bye.